I was going back to the archives of KEZI and I thought it was really funny because it was uh, the year was 2000 and Fred Meyer in Florence just got its first self-checking machine. And now that seems like, you know, we all do it and we're used to it. But imagine the day when this new technology came to Florence, Oregon. And it was the same when it came to Eugene and Springfield as well. But this story is really fun. And go back and look at uh, the, the questions that were coming up and how now it's all just, you know, nothing. But I think this kind of shows how, what, that's only 15 years ago, um, how history has changed. Watch. Come on, let's come over here and try this. Dragging people into a face-to-face -face confrontation with technology can be a challenge, especially if it means replacing a familiar face at the check stand. Hi, how are you doing? With a computer screen. I point to that. All you have to do is really listen to what the monitor tells you. This is Sherry Moran's job for the week, introducing Fred Meyer shoppers in Florence to the store's new automated check stands, which look kind of like ATM machines on steroids. They look, look at the machine, they go, oh my God, what is this, what is this? So what you do is you walk them through it, show them it, won't come out and bite them, and then they love it. You're going to get your bills right here, and your cash is going to come out there. And you are done. Let's go buy some more. Go buy some more. <laughs> The Florence Fred Meyer got the new check stands last week. This is the 12th Fred Meyer store to receive them out of uh, 140 stores. They work just like normal check stands, minus the checker. Now customers scan their own purchases, bag the items themselves, then pay the machine. What about products like alcohol or tobacco? How does this machine know you're old enough to buy something like that? Well, when you try to scan it... Please show your ID to the cashier now. It asks for your ID and it alerts the cashier at the end of the station. Yeah. Not everyone's sold on the new check stands, though. My Please wife keeps telling me that I'm technologically challenged. Yeah. John Flaherty tried one out and found he missed having a real live checker to chat with. Because I have to interact with people. I'm not going to interact with the machine. And even though the new machines offer a faster way through the checkout counter, there will always be some who prefer a more human touch. $2.50. Okay. There we go. Thank you very much. You folks have a good day now.